I'm back. I hope everyone, how's it going? I know it's been six weeks since I've uploaded a video. Um, I have been getting my room renovated. Well, not my room, my whole house. So that's why I've not been uploading. I've basically not had my computer set up. But I'm back on the hottest day of England to make a video in this room. I have no aircon. It is, I'm not complaining because I know there's hotter places to live. But us Englishmen are not used to heat. So when we get like 30 degrees, we're basically like no air. It's pretty bad. I just want to say as well really quick, thanks to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel whilst I've been absent. So today I'm going to do a video of me reacting to like scary paranormal videos on the internet and we're just going to have a little bit of fun. So let's just get straight into it. I liked how I said let's just get straight into it after I've just done a 45 second intro. I'm annoying, I know. First things first, let me just get this one out of the way and then everything after this will be videos. This is something I personally saw on a YouTuber's Instagram. So Tom Syndicate had a story up and this was a video, but I've just took a screenshot of him obviously on a plane. Now you can see he's really high up because if you look at the ground, you can't basically see anything. But if you look above the wing, there's basically like a little white speck, which looks like a little white speck. Obviously it's too high for it to be a bird. So I was like, hmm, this is interesting. What could that be? So I zoomed in a little bit more and I was like, mm, that's funny, kind of looks like a flying saucer, a very blurry flying saucer, but still a flying saucer. That could be a flying saucer, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I mean, look how high up he is. It can't be a bird, he's way too high up for it to be a bird. But to be fair, he's probably just a plane. So right, now onto the serious stuff. Okay, so the first video is an alleged ghost, or people are referring to it as a demon, leaving an elevator in a hotel in Illinois. Oh, oh. That is weird. That is so crazy. It like runs out, then runs back in. Now people were saying that this could be a demon. So it runs, what's it? Does it run, so it like runs behind that trolley. If you saw that on CCTV, at the hotel you worked in, you would be freaking out. And people have reported like loads of paranormal activity in this hotel as well, apparently. And I don't know why this looks like a demon, but maybe because it's like crawling around and running around, it looks like a demon. Do you know what I mean? All right, if we're going to look at paranormal videos, we've got to look at Bigfoot. Now, the famous Patterson and Gimlin Bigfoot is the Bigfoot everyone will know. And this is the 4K stabilized color version where it's much clearer. I mean, that looks pretty real, doesn't it? I mean, let me just skip back there because the craziest thing about this video is, look, I pause it there. This Bigfoot has got boobs. Now, just not even just to mention how weird it is that it has boobs. I mean, it's not weird. I mean, if there's Bigfoot, there's going to be a female Bigfoot because they have to breed. But if someone's like made a suit all that time ago, because this is like in the 70s, that's some dedication there. And also, which is crazy, like look how thick the suit is. We're going to call it air quote suit. Like, it's packed. Like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like a man in a suit because at first I thought it did until I saw this 4K stabilized version. But it just fits well. Even it's, even the face. Like, look, even the face looks legit. Like, it doesn't actually look like a gorilla suit, like a gorilla's face. It doesn't look like an ape. He literally looks like something in between a man and an ape. That's wild. Like, look how big his butt sticks out. I mean... Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! When I was growing up, my mum always claimed that there were ghosts in our house. I mean, we'd see mirrors, like, levitate off walls. All the family had seen it as well. Even my dad saw it, who was, like, the biggest skeptic of all time. Even he came around to the fact that there was something weird going on in our house. So, speaking of ghosts, let's watch some ghost videos, poltergeist videos, to be specific. Now, I don't know, like, I don't know the context behind this, but basically, it just says poltergeist spooks ghost hunter. Do you want to play that game again? Can you do that now? It's just me. Do you want to play that game that again? Can you do that now? Oh. Whoa, that K2's just f Yeah, mm. I've got it on camera and all. I'm looking that way with me. They're so that's northern. That's just falling over. That K2's just f Yeah, I've got it on. 
This is the trouble. Like... I mean... He was standing up pretty straight. But anyway, I mean, what's more logical? That a poltergeist knocked that out? I mean, that, look, let's look at it like this. So they obviously want the poltergeist to do something with those, I'm, well, I'm assuming are ping pong balls. But it doesn't move those. It knocks over the only thing in the room that could fall over by itself. I mean, this is a trouble. When you go out looking for something, you'll believe anything then. Like, these are looking for some poltergeist activity. This, whatever it is in the corner, falls over, and they think that's the poltergeist. Doesn't matter about the fact that it's not moved the ping pong balls, which is what they're trying to make it to do. I'm not buying that one. I'm not buying it. Let's look for some more. All right, these ones are always good. Ghostly activity filmed at UK pub. Pubs in England are all haunted. Even my mum worked at a haunted pub. My mum seems to just be surrounded by ghosts, by the way. Oh! Oh! What's that? There's something... Oh my god, the salt shaker's moving! This is pretty creepy. Oh my god! Do you know what's annoying though, is like... Why is it always at night? Why does stuff like this never happen really during the day when people are around? I mean, that's the weirdest thing about it. Like, to be fair, this, I mean, when that chair moves, that is creepy. There's no way, there's no two ways about it, that is creepy. But, that could be faked quite easily, couldn't it? That could be faked, could just be someone standing behind the door. I mean, I like to think it's real because it is cool. But at the same time, you would not want to be at that pub. <laughs> <laughs> so hot in this room. Right, pushing onwards. We're going to talk UFOs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this video. And this video basically is what you see on the left is the bottom left is obviously the guy's filming. He's filming this UFO in the sky and he's got a really good camera and he's zooming in on it. As you can see, but it's really shaky. But believe it or not, this is the stabilized version. And on the right are the screenshots taken of the supposed aliens you can see in the UFO. Now, this is insane. If this is real. Like, I know that, like, I actually know for a fact this is real, as in the sense that a guy actually filmed this. This is not hoaxed. But if you look at those aliens on the right, what are the odds? What are the odds that they look exactly like aliens? How, at least how aliens are depicted, you know, like this alien right here, the common gray. Because when you think of aliens, you think of this guy, don't you? But the weird thing is, why do they have like glass in there? Not glass, well, I guess it is glass, isn't it? It's a window, like whenever, like when you see UFOs, they're always like, they're always like seamless craft. There's never no like windows. Well, there's actually has been reports of windows in them, but they're few and far between. But if this is real, it's pretty creepy. I mean, that looks like an alien. There's no question about it. It looks like an evil alien, though. At least that one, like, looks quite nice. Not these guys. Okay, what have we got here? Ghost of child's balloon floats around pub. It's always pubs. They have the best ghosts. This is creepy. Wait, 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 wait. Why not? us. This is quite weird. I know it's obviously like a helium balloon, but. Is it turning? She's gone into the chair. It's just. Is it gonna? Is it gonna go around the chair? It's making its way through the chair. Oh, it's going through, Gail. What the? F it's gone through the chair. It's going around the corner. It's going around the corner. What the actual? I can't. 
It's me and Gail. All right, fair enough. It's probably just a balloon floating around, but it did do a right angle turn into the bar. And it was just weird how it was like at the same level all the way along. A logical explanation is the wind was taking it. There's a draft in there. Fair enough. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry for being so late uploading. I hope you enjoyed this video of me reacting to like scary paranormal videos. Um, I'll try and upload again at some point this week. I should have way more time on my hands now. And um, this is actually a really cool way to wear your headset. Loads of Twitch streamers are doing this now. So if you want to be like better at the games you're playing, you need to wear your headset like this. It's a scientific fact. Right. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Bye.